So what's going on, Mr. Williams? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fill out a piece of paper while I'm talking with you. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna submit it onto you. Uh, so are you a supervisor? I am, I'm a sergeant. Okay. I'm a, the swing shift sergeant tonight. Well, what's your name, please? Sergeant Farr. Farr, F-A-R-R? -R. Yes. And a badge number? 60494. So I'm kind of gonna like sort of write my statement as I'm uh, talking to you uh, of what occurred. Um, so I should be able to, so I'm just gonna, yeah. I was performing a First Amendment Protected activity. And what activity was that, sir? Freedom of the press. So what were you doing? Press, filming, government, officials in the course of their official duties, duties in a public area that was not marked restricted in any way the apd parking lot is that g that's on the west side over here that's h over there adjacent to h street i was grabbed and assaulted and forcibly removed while being threatened with arrest. By officer Jesus Rivera, I believe it's the third, but I'm not going to put it because I'm not 100% if it is actually okay. the third, okay. um, but I believe it to be because that's what he um, identified as before. Um, this occurred, do you have the approximate time right now? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a long show. <laughs> It's about 4.04 4 p.m. or 4 64. 4. Yeah, 16.04 So let's say it was about, give or take, 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes um, ago, okay. So around 15.55 hours, Alaska time, on February 11, 2022. I noticed an assembly member doing a ride along Meg Zalatel and needed to document for transparency. I swear and affirm the foregoing is true under penalty.
of perjury. Pursuant to APD policy, I believe it's uh, that make me spell it APD. Sometimes it doesn't know who the hell I'm talking about. There's other APDs. <laughs> you try to find the, the policy that's on the public. Uh, there we go. I think that's the one. Yeah. There we go. So how do you feel about the body warrants? I think they're a great thing. You're for them? Absolutely. There we go. Pursuant to policy 2.04.005. And today's date is June, or excuse me, February 11th, 11, yes, 2022. And uh, so what I what was hopeful you could do is uh, give this some a fixation as you having received it. Mm -hmm. um, and I see it appears that you're recording. I am recording as well. Um, and, and so there's um, not a whole bunch of detail in that. So I'm going to ask you some more questions, try to get more detail. Feel free. Are, are, are you going to give that to me? Yeah. Did you want to take a picture of it before you? I'd like to it? get a some type of signed, um, you know, have you sign it as received or stamp it as received, um, so that I know that it was received and it'll be entered into blue team. It's going to be entered. I'll make a copy of it for you if that's what you'd like me to do. That works. Okay. So I was kind of listening as you were writing and reading out loud. So you were here performing a First Amendment audit is my understanding, right? You were reporting. Right. Where were you at when Officer Rivera contacted you? Um, so I had already been in the back parking lot for about 15, 20 minutes. I had come in and out of it three or four times. I had seen, I don't know, 15 to 20 officers exit, waving, some were waving and smiling. Okay. Um, what drew me in was I saw Meg Zalatel, one of our assembly members mm -hmm. um, from Midtown, getting into a vehicle with a taller female officer Okay. Um, and so I thought that was kind of interesting and I wanted to see, you know, hey, is there going to be anything about this at the assembly meeting? Sure. Um, and then I continued to film, you know, no issues. Um, and it was probably on my third entry into the parking lot after I had filmed every car in the parking lot 10 times, okay. um, filmed multiple officers. He snuck up behind me. He was coming along this wall of the building up against okay. this glass. You're pointing to the west side of the... Headquarters. Okay. Point to the west side of the headquarters, okay. and I was, uh, I had just been looking at, there's a Toyota Sequoia out there, okay. and then there was another, um, they were either civilian or unmarked vehicles, so I was looking at them, I was getting their license plates, I was taking pictures of the vehicle in its totality um, to determine if it's a, you know, a civilian vehicle or an APD vehicle. Um, and then shortly thereafter, I was walking to exit, and I was actually going to come to the front door, and I was... You know, I'm going to take one final shot of the front with the logo of APD and I was going to get out of my way and he comes up behind me and grabs me by my left arm. Okay. And, and uh, what are you doing? He says, you need to get out of here. You know, no, I don't. You know, I'm performing a First Amendment protected activity. There's no signs of any kind that say um, authorized access or personnel only okay. um, close to public. Um, this is for police personnel only. None of those signs exist anywhere. On the black wall, on the sidewalk, there's no signage and no clear distinct markings. And, and in fact, there's openings in the gate that allow for pedestrian access. And I have films of other days where there ha I've filmed packs of people going through there without harassment or intimidation or molestation. Okay. Um, so what occurred today, um, when he grab me by my arm that is an assault okay. um, whether or not an injury occurs that is an unwanted physical touching where he is depriving me access to my rights 
and, and moving me off of what is a publicly funded area and something I'm allowed to do. Under Brown v. Cummings, I'm allowed to audit government officials in the course of their duties. Okay. Um, I, I was in no way being in any way but cordial with everybody. I had the right to be rude, but I was not. I was being very nice. He came up behind me, snuck attack, and assaulted me. Okay. Um, and it's unacceptable. If I did the same to him, I would be in, in, on my way to the Anchorage Correction Center for assaulting an officer right now, if I did that same thing to him. If I said, no, you're in my personal space, you don't have the right to be there. And it's not his personal space. This is a, this is a governmental building that's a governmental parking lot with, with cars. All of this is funded by we the people, us the taxpayers, yourself, myself, my family, your family, and everyone else. And so we all have a right to be there. And I have a right to be free um, from being assaulted. You know, just because someone wears a badge does not give them the right to do that to a citizen. Okay. Um, it's definitely a use of excessive force. Okay. And it was uh, completely out of line and against the law. He had no legal authority. I was breaking no law. He had no legal authority to touch me. Okay. And that is absolutely unacceptable and it needs to be dealt with. Um, this is not the first time that he has. I'm not coming in because I have a bone to pick with him. I'm coming in because I need to address it in the moment when it happens. I can't shy away from these things and neither can the police department. If you want to bridge the gap, like Chief Curl talks about, this is the way you bridge the gap. This it is, is by, um, you know, good officers don't want to see um, the bad apples, right? Because if you have a sack of apples and you got one that has a worm in it and it's rotten, mm -hmm. the rest of the sack will suffer. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and to the same degree, the badge, right? That ability to operate that public trust that we place in, in our officers to be able to defend the rights of the citizens. Yes, sir. Um, I understand where you're going. So I, I would appreciate, like, I, I appreciate you not telling me that I needed to file it online because I've had some no, supervisors no, in the past tell me that I need to. And I'm taking it right now, I will not be investigating it. His supervisor will be. So that's my concern because. Um, here, I just wanted to kind of. Um, I'm pretty familiar with that. If you have questions. Well, there was one that I really wanted to. Uh, I wanted to bring to your attention, and it's written in bold. Okay, right here. So, um, pursuant to page six, I would like to ask that that not be the way. Um, okay. So, page six, if you read two. Um, subsection A. Right. Did not authorize witness or participate in the incident, or should have participated but did not. So his supervisor wasn't here at the time. Is there some other, or didn't authorize him to do that? The supervisor's not even working today. That's why I'm here. So is there some other reason why you don't want his I supervisor? just consider it to be a conflict of interest for the, the same team to investigate themselves. And hence why, you know, it states that we have the Office of Professional Responsibility, or IA, mm -hmm. which is kind of a, even though it's within the police department, it gives the premise at least that it's, an independent investigatory body okay. to some degree. So I'd like for as will, best as possible for that to be preserved. Um, I will talk to my lieutenant and provide him with what your requests are, whether that's what happens or and, not. And maybe that's, that's, if you that's wanted, not, that's not my um, decision. So. Maybe if you wanted, so you could get a visual picture of exactly where it occurred. Sure. Um, you know, and I kind of wanted to. So, so, so now a couple of questions before you put your coat on. Are you injured at all? Are you feeling physical pain or do you have I mean, any he grabbed or... my arm, you know, he grabbed my arm. It was, it was a physical touching. He squeezed it. Okay. Um, he used, uh, he used three fingers at okay. first and his thumb, and then he attached his pinky as well. Okay. Um, when I turned to look at him mm -hmm. and, and it appeared for a moment that he was um, going to take me to the ground okay. physically and, and go beyond just like, like he's not my parent. Yeah. He has no right over me. Okay. Um, so, so, so did you feel pain at the time? Yes. Okay. Do you have any injuries? I would say it's probably bruised under there. Maybe. I don't know. I'd like to take a look to, to document that. And I'd like also to take some pictures of you to document whether you're injured or not. I mean, he got me like right here, you okay. know, I, I don't know if it's. <clears throat> I don't know if there's actually any marks or not. I don't know. 
Okay. I'm just going to take some pictures, okay? Let me get to the correct part of my camera here. So I see two scratches. I see one that's obviously old, and then there's another one that looks like it's old. Is that from? I can't see them. Put it right here. It might be dog. Dog. Okay. Depending. I, okay. I don't know. Okay. All right. I'll just get a picture of you. Can you just look at me real quick? Thanks. Appreciate it. And then do this with that arm. Like this? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate that now. So let's go out and take a look at what you're talking about and so I can have a better clue idea of what you're talking about as well. I'll just go change my body camera real quick to okay. the battery. Dang it. GoPros suck, man. Do they? Yeah. You, you guys got to get the axe on. Don't, uh, don't you, screw around. You know, that I have my own views on that. I I, I like Axon stuff, but again, it's they go through this huge process for procurement to figure out which one it's going to be, and I, I have no clue what the what the company is going to be, so. Well, the biggest thing is the availability when you need it. Yeah. The, that's the biggest thing. How quick to the can public, you get it sure. to the individual? For sure. Um, you know, it, it's just as much of a liability retainer as your qualified immunity insurance is. And, and in fact, it's bigger. You, you won't have unfounded complaints if you have body cameras. I agree with you. You know, I agree with you. And uh, it's a good transparency thing between us and the public. Absolutely. Right. I'm all for them. Yeah, I'm going to continue to uh, be a staunch advocate until that day comes. You all hear me. That's my. Uh, that's have what you I'm uh, been to the, the community meetings and stuff for that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be at the next one on, the, I think, the 17th or 18th next week. So, yeah, it'll be, oh, yeah, I definitely got caught because this one's here. Okay. That one's there. And, uh, I mean, honestly, yeah, there was a, there was a, There was a Sequoia and another vehicle parked next to next to Chevy over there okay. with the orange and in front of it. So in the two closest positions. Um, and I was right about in here okay. in this area. Okay. And I was exiting towards this way because I had just finished the okay. audit. I went all around okay. 360 and I was, you know, I was within this area, within this okay. orange area, exiting towards this way. Okay. And you know, then he came up behind me. He must have been, I don't know if he went behind the car. I don't think so. He probably was on the line from that 737 sign, I West 5th. Okay. Yeah. Right uh, in line with that police car, basically? Probably right, right on line, coming okay. out from that back door where everybody else exited. Okay. And I mean, he does have a history with me. You know what I mean? He I, does. I don't know. It, this he history. does. Okay. I mean, uh, was, was he in uniform? Yeah, he was in okay. uniform. So you knew it was a police officer? Yes. Okay. He didn't identify himself in the moment. Okay. Um, truthfully, he didn't okay. identify himself by name or by badge number okay. or as being even a police officer. Okay. Um, only that I know him as being um, someone who had been a police officer on previous occasions. You know, okay. you, you never know. I mean, sure. things can change. You yeah. know. That makes sense. Okay. Um. So you wanted a copy of this, right? Yeah, something that, I mean, it, maybe if you could sign it, I don't know if, if you feel comfortable doing that. I'm not gonna sign it. I'll All right, it. Um, then if you could maybe date stamp it, if you have a date stamp in the office. Have a date stamp. Here, stay with I'm gonna take a picture. Actually, I would like to scan it, and that way I can upload it to Bluefield. That works. Okay. Two, 11. And yeah, the, the video evidence will be online um, for sure, too. Um, oh, on your body camera? Yeah. Well, I think my my car is the one that's parked there, and my car is on, and my, my watch card, my in-car may have got it there, too, so I'll, I'll look there, too, for it. So. Okay. Okay. What car number do you have today? 350157. 350157. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let me go make a copy of this real quick, and I'll give it back to you. Thank you. I'm actually... That works. 
see here we've got the internal investigations policy up here. Officer uh, testified that he has a he has a vehicle on the scene today with the dash cam on apparently. So we're gonna go out and uh, confirm that after we um, get this copy here. So yeah, it's amazing. I was anticipating doing something else today, but things always change. I scanned it, I emailed it to me, all uploaded to Blue Team. So here's that back, and all right. that's the date and time and my badge number. Okay. 60494? Yes, sir. All right. Good. Anything Thank else? You. No, that's all for now. Okay. All right, I'm just going to fold this up and okay. put it away Perfect. in my bag, and then I'll, I'll be out of here. Um, we have 45 days to, to complete a complaint. Okay. You, you'll be notified either via, via um, phone call or by U.S. mail as the result of it. Okay. okay, and it most likely won't, it will not be me doing it. It'll be Sergeant Bakken or somebody else that a commander designates to do it. It's all good. Okay. It's all good. Sooner or later it all gets sorted out. Yes, sir. All right. Is, is, is there anything else? No. No. Okay. Just uh, make sure we honor our oath tonight. Absolutely. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. All right. Have a good day, right? Thank you. Yep. Yep. All right, so that completes the time at APD headquarters here. All right, so he told me at 3.50, 1.47. So yeah, we gotta do one more walkthrough. So saying this dash cam, ah, this one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, if he's in 3.50, is it running? Let's see if the dash cam is running. Green for go, baby. Green for go. Oh! Okay. Looks like we're putting in another open records request. <laughs> All right, so car X21-350157, XZD242. All right, beautiful. Glory to God. <laughs> it completes the audit of APD.